this is the Niger Delta Chatroom Show, where we talk peace and development in the Niger Delta. I'm Mitchell Dow Bimini Thames of Cumbre. Don't go away. The program, Niger Delta Chatroom Show, will be back after this break. Like I said before, this is where we talk peace and development in Niger Delta and also most especially we'll be taking a more deeper in look into the IYC or coming election and crisis in the IYC. So like I said before, I remain Mitchell Darby Minna Thompson Cumbre and to do justice with me, I uh, want to say we have a guest in the studio, a proud son of the Niger Delta, a son that is into the developmental matters when it comes to the Niger Delta and the Asian nation. And he is no other person but comrade Elitin Bakumo, IYC Clan Rep 1 of Otebe, Deputy Former Coordinator, a place of brotherhood worldwide and former as a political to the immediate past governor of their state. So, mm. Elitin, you're welcome to the studio. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, now let's uh, look at which area specifically are you from in each nation? Yeah, I am paternally from Obotebe, okay. Obotebe Kingdom, okay. and uh, maternally from uh, Bumadi. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, here we talk development. Yeah. So, now let's talk about Obotebe, your community. How mm. developed is your community? Yeah, truth be told, yeah. uh, Obotebe is a, it's a big name, you know, used to be a big name. Okay. Uh, the E.E. Uh, e. Bakumo was the first uh, local government chairman of Brutu local government and he's from uh, Obotebe. He was my grand uncle. Okay. You know, and uh, during his time, he did so many things, not just within the Brutu local government, but uh, even went beyond that, you know, to even affecting the, ne the nearby local government. Mm -hmm. So that Obotebe that used to be Obotebe yes. is not the Obotebe that is, it is now. now. So we are praying and hoping that um, hopefully uh, <laughs> Obotebe will get better do you, and then do we have government yeah. project in Obotebe? Yes, we we have we have government project, government presence. Tiny, yes, a little tiny of government okay. presence. But we are hoping that more gov more of government presence will be coming to Obotebe very soon. Okay. Yeah. Now let me take a look at it. Uh, people say that uh, the lack of development in the Jor nation. Yeah. Who do we blame? Is it the government? our leaders or the Ijo people themselves or the multinationals yes everybody is to be blamed everybody so which yeah. angle are you coming from uh first of all the first person to be blamed was should be the federal government okay because um you if you are not ready to do a job and take responsibility for the failures of whatever happens at that time okay you will be the first person to be, to be blamed and then secondly we'll come down to our leaders our leaders have done, uh, haven't done so much in pressuring the government and the multinationals to bring the necessary growth and development to the people. Okay. And then down to the people. Uh, the people must always be ready to hold accountable the, 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 the powers that be, the leadership, the, the, the leaders of our own Ijo people in particular, and then the federal government. So if you look at it, you know, initially we used to say, oh, it is, we want to point fingers. But right now, while we are pointing fingers, we are also pointing ourselves. <laughs> government said the youth always look for ways to always cause problems. So that is why the government cannot actually turn the paradise which is mm. the niger data yeah. like dubai uh, i would say that is not entirely true okay. yes for uh, using where i come from as an example of recent we have even sat down as a kingdom as a community to say that look if there is any kind of development that is coming no son of a Botabe kingdom should interfere or interrupt that process that project, okay. for no reason. For you want to collect the devil or you want yeah, yeah. this. No, let the development begin because we are far backwards and there is no time. We are, we are behind time. If you look at most of our communities today, you, you, we are still like... We are still living like nomads yeah. and that is, should not be the case because god has blessed us there's so much resources and there's so much human resources when you come to uh, politics we have brilliant people we we even have the numbers we vote 
So for the fact that we vote, it is it is enough reason for the government to, to look into our affairs. So yeah, you, it also boils down to what I said earlier that part of the reason why we are underdeveloped is also we are also part of it. And that is that, that, that boils down to what you just said that some youths or some people will now say, oh no, we need this first, we need this first before you start bringing uh, development. We are hoping that with conscientization and sensitization and programs like this, our people will also be more open to yeah. you know, development. So because uh, when you look at development in yeah. the Niger data, yeah. um, precisely when you talk Niger data, you talk mm. the Ijo's. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, as an Ijo man, what is your pain okay. for the situation of the Niger data and what do you think should be done to move Niger data in terms of development on a faster pace? I would want to say that we have not done enough because most of our people have been on the end of affairs. Our people have been in NDDC, yeah. our people have been in the Niger Data Ministry, our people have been in the Amnesty. So the, the question comes back to us, as our leaders. What are they doing? doing? Because they are from our region. They should know our pain. They grew up with us. They know that we don't have electricity. They know we don't have roads. They know our pain more than the federal government. You know, the ex-agitators, who, 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 uh, some people want to call the ex-militants, have made so much sacrifices to draw this attention, this federal government attention region. to the region it is not left for our political class to ensure that these projects you know uh, good luck Jonathan was governor for how many years the, the, with, the, with no tangible road to his place, his place. now you, if we ask carefully and we look carefully we'll find out that good luck Jonathan empowered our people to yeah. ensure that these projects are being done roads should come to the region things should happen to the region but they didn't happen because our own people like some people will say the cola the warm <laughs> where they eat cola the inside the cola. So what you're saying that uh, the style of each of political leaders are yeah. not profitable to the job. Yeah. All right, uh, tell you that uh, you're still watching the Niger Data chat room, and my guest has been comrade Elekton Bakumo, our is a clan rep one or whatever. Now recently, recently there is in the news that the IYC president was in peace. And is it true? And what are the reasons for his impeachment? Okay, it is true. Okay. Yeah. Um, part of the reasons include incompetence, okay. high-handedness, uh, trying to hijack the offices of council and operate as a singular person. You know, among other things, it was. Uh, you know, it was. It, it, there, was, there was a time he kidnapped himself. Uh, the old president of the Youth Council came out with the story that he was kidnapped, kidnapped. In, the eve, in the eve of a very important protest. A protest which the whole of the nation had given you their support and their blessings. That was the betrayal of the IS order. Okay. He also went further to, to set up a security outfit in his hotel. You know, and called it uh, his jaw security network, like a mm -hmm. without consulting his jaw nation, without consulting the leaders like uh, uh, Ateke, Asari Dukubo, Tompolo, you know, and all the former presidents of council. A matter as important as uh, security, security issues. issues. When his own people are being killed in Akwaibon state, his job people, Andoni people, being killed by, by uh, Akwaibon people, and he did not say anything. So uh, he has turned the job nation to uh, a profit-making machine where if money not did it, <laughs> you know, they, you know, they put on. They also but, went further to to draw in our the, the governor general of the job nation uh, by saying that uh, the governor of Bayasa state is owing him over 30 million. That, uh, on, is it based on a personal business basis or on our? Is that is what we are trying to find out. Because <laughs> our, my my own concern there was that uh, if the governor mm. is owing you money, how come he wants to pay you through the Eleko account? And you are telling the Eleko treasurer that you don't trust him, that the uh, governor is owing you money. That means you are you are setting a, a fraudulent uh, 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 agenda. By saying that, okay, now if the governor can say, okay, I'm giving you people 10 million to conduct your elections, you go hold the 10 million because say, oh, uh, governor, they owe me 30 million. Yes. Make out this 10 million, I go hold and fair, more take 1 million, take go do now election. He wants to, you, he, he's using his job nation to enrich himself and making his job people believe like he's the one give, doing us a favor. Okay. 
you know so he has he has done so much he, he, he has done so much and uh, why some people believe that uh, we should just let him be and let him do what he likes and go that if we if we continue in that precedence people will come and misbehave and say oh we're gonna just leave another three years make it do make it go we're gonna just leave him if we don't step up and take action that is why the parliament is there we are not there to to just bear the name that we are reps that we are you, you, you then we, we, are, we but, are not doing anything but why are you saying that uh, he's just there enriching himself mm -hmm. that has been the normal routine in every of the iyc president yes, making money uh, for themselves yes it has it has been you know i have only said the word saying i get the tight good put Sure. So, uh, and I have always used a biblical uh, example that uh, EU works in the vineyard, we eat from the vineyard. So, definitely, most of the former presidents have eaten from where they have worked, but they have left certain types of legacies for each other youth council they have done their best but in this case now we have you have not done anything, anything. from your day one to this very moment you have done one. the one what you want manage do before now you kidnap yourself <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so 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 you're not saying that uh, is since his inception in office yes no tangible project has nothing not the not a project itself to be he has not even level. held a meeting he has not even had congress he has not even had convention in the talk of projects he has not even done a project apart from the personal contracts he has used uh, he, he joined the platform of the presidency to get from his uh, mobile uh, oil company in his area mm -hmm. and uh, trying to create a, a security network so that they can go find small security contracts from a, from a, a mobile in the name of his own nation so he has not even done nothing nothing so why is this how i see each time a pre I'm, each time it, it, there's time for election there's always crisis why is it like that yes you know um it shows that the uh, council is vibrant it shows that uh, although it shows the incompetency of the president it also shows that the council is vibrant the incompetency of the president because you cannot want two things what peter is doing now is that he wants two things okay. he wants to get all the money the final cash out at the same time you want to install your stooge by all means yes. by so doing reducing the powers and even making them non-functional you will call for meeting you will call the secretary of council ah secretary you are supposed to sign this kind of document are you aware he's not aware president i will sign but they won't take money you have a treasurer and council president i will sign uh -uh. We want to do in the parliament. President even called, he went as far as to even try to 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 form a parallel parliament where he sits as the speaker. From what I saw, and which is against the rules and regulations of the council. Yes, which he doesn't. Nobody does that. There's a speaker of parliament. That is his job. Now you want to call for now you want to call for, for 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 sitting when you like, and that is because there has been an uproar and agitation for your impeachment. You call people as far as to the level of calling them to to put a court in, and everything he does, he does it inside his hotel room. He said he, he, because he has a hotel, he managed to Manage. an uncompleted <laughs> hotel, he managed to finish with a IYC oh. money, no problem, correct. You, you you went there you that is where you do all your 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 negative plannings and people will say would they see the thing say not good everybody they see the thing say not good oh make we leave him he turn himself the almost finish he turn himself the almost finish the next president will come he will say no they leave Peter now so nobody can be my own way they not go feel leave me now don't you think the problem of this uh, IYC crisis yeah it's due to the fact that they don't have a national secretariat and they don't have a working staff in the council. Uh, it's a pressure group. IYC is a pressure group. And uh, speaking of staff, we cannot have staffs because it is a pressure group. Uh -huh. But other, a, other, other, like, other tr uh, groups yeah. like IYC, they have their offices. Yes, no, I'm coming to office. We, I started with staff. Oh, now I'm now going to offices. IYC is supposed to have the office. Yes. It has been the failure of presidents past okay. and present that they have not been able to have a permanent secretariat. They have been going in and out of Ijo House in Bayasa. Ijo House was not made because of IYC, IYC at, at all. No, it's, it's, a a ministry. it's a ministry, it's a government building. It was borrowed to INC and the uh, IYC. But no president, luckily, thank God for Western Zone, uh, the, the, the chairman of Western Zone is building a secretariat in Bomodi. You understand? Those are the kind of things we are expected a president, president to do. But his zona chairman is doing it. 
and it doesn't cost so much. All this money, the way you did, won't collect, where you were swallow. So, you, you, if you are, if you, if you just say, ah, it's your nation. Uh, Bayasa State is our is our land. Bayasa State will give you a go Bayasa State government will give you a land. Land. We will even fund the place to the best that they can. You can you by so doing you, you other prominent just ones. We put money into it. Yes. And before you know, we have a secretariat. But nobody wants to think. They just want to go and renovate one cubic at the job house, use it to do their things, and then leave. When they are going, if they want boss, now government buy for the other go to sell a shop and then go. So it is unfortunate how it has become but uh, we will not sit back and watch because uh, there's a there's a saying in the political circles i don't know who who is who the saying is credited to that fools rule because the wise fail to do fail not to part do participate not. in yeah. politics so some of us will not sit down and then watch and then when we come and report these people to you you will tell us that uh, oh he then not finish well, now finish. Not be on a put on. no 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 that is why there is structure that is why there is parliament to checkmate Mate. the activities of the executives so when the executives are failing it is the job of the parliament that means i will be failing as a parliamentarian as a rep if i see somebody failing and we cannot call you to order. What is the essence? What is the essence? My guest has been Comrade Ellington Bakumo, RYZ Clan Rep 1 of Botteve, and a former XA political to the immediate past governor of Delta State. Now let's come back to Delta State. How would you rate the style, the political leadership style of the Ijo political? Office orders in Delta State have they done very well in bringing development to the Delta regions? I would say there is room for development. There is okay. room for improvement. Okay. Yes, I believe that they would want to say if we if we call them now and sit down and say, "Oh God, this," they will say they are doing their best. It is not their fault. Nobody wants to take <laughs> responsibility for anything. Yes. Nobody wants to take responsibility for anything. So they will tell us it is not their fault. They are doing their best. Now this one I cost and that one I cost them. However, we are asking them that there is room for improvement. Like I said, uh, this Ayakoromo Bridge would have been completed if not that there are certain Nigerian leaders who went to Asaba to tell the governor that the Ayakoromo Bridge is not uh, economically, uh, uh, what's the English word now? It has no economic value. value. To the states, only because they want other smaller contracts that they will get personally from the governor to enrich themselves, or probably because that place is not their, place. Not their place. Look at the Bomondi Bridge today. Everybody is uh, admiring the Bomondi Bridge, and the John Nation is ever grateful, uh, <laughs> James Ibori, yeah. uh, for giving us Bomondi Bridge. So it is not about I am from Bomondi or I am not from Bomondi. It is a beauty of I am an Ishoman. man. Ah, yeah, this one is just a road the rich. Mm -hmm. Ah, you don't know. You don't have to go to money. money. Yeah, you can drive to yeah, any yeah, part. Yeah, they the drive to Rubenai, they yeah. drive to go like this, they drive to go like that. We can now see things like that. This one is closer to worry. If Ayakromo Bridge is open, uh, some Ijo people, many Ijo people, we go home because it will be very few minutes drive. If you are coming to work in worry, yes. you just drive down. You are staying in your own town. Build of your beautiful house, do your own business there and do things. And that place will link to other your community. It will link direct, it will link to whatever my place. You understand? And whatever by the grace of God, uh, development is coming. By the grace of God, companies are about to come because uh, oil is being discovered in whatever as we speak. Companies are trying to come. So when these things start coming, coming. in. We need roads to assess our places. If that does, we are not saying we are river people, we will still enter boat. But what is good for A is good for B. We need these roads, and it is the job of our leaders to draw the attention of the government to this place. And these are legacy projects. These are the things that, after you are old and dead, your children, ah, your papa, your papa and I be uh, as of as any, ah, now your papa and I draw the this bridge, bridge come home. Oh. Yes, it's a legacy. The Bible says, "Good name is better than, better than riches. riches." It's a legacy. I am enjoying the legacy of my grand uncle, A. A. Bakumo, today. Because of what he did for Brutu people as the first local government chairman, I am back. I will be now I'm proud. Who are you? Bakumo. Mm. Bakumo. I am proud. I'm, I come from that kind of lineage because of the legacies that he has left for us. We are enjoying it today. Those of us who are descendants of Bakumo, we are enjoying that legacy today. Those are the kind of things our politicians should be thinking about. Mm. What are the legacy projects? Even if not smutty, let it be a legacy. 
now this person now your time now this person time now this thing come no, those are the kind of things that kind of, now let's let's take a look at uh, the new sheriff that is in town yeah. his excellency governor sheriff obori yeah. government more agenda do you think the more agenda will be favorable to the Ijo people yes i uh, i would i would say yes that sheriff is a good person he's a passionate person and i know that sheriff knows the effort that is your nation put to ensure his victory. And I know that Sheriff will look into his your nation. It is not left to our leaders, our is your leaders to do what is necessary to always remind him, call his attention to our people. I know that whenever the your people call on Sheriff to the issues that affect our river oh. areas, the your people, Sheriff will list him. You can see that even his first appointment was an Ijob man, if I'm not mistaken, Borobudu. Yeah. Presidential amnesty, the NDDC, and the Sufade. Do you think this agency have done very well in bringing development to the Ijo nation? Mm. They have not done well up until now. We are hoping that uh, as uh, we have a new president who uh, possibly find a ways of uh, putting competent hands to people who are passionate about the region to, to man those offices so that uh, Instead of thinking about the next election, we should be thinking about legacy projects for the Niger Delta region, increasing uh, human capital development, training people, scholarships, and the rest, because it is our money. money. It is yeah. our struggle. Our fathers have died for this. Our fathers fought for this. Our fathers, you know, so much was done for NDC. People, people signed. People, so much was done for these things to come to light. Okay, what is the major problem? Um, the major problem of the Joe nation, and what do you think is the major need of the Joe people in terms, in terms of fostering development in the Joe land? Okay, uh, the major problem, if you ask me the major problem of the Joe nation, I would say um, we have drifted away from his own year. This one feels like, oh, it's supposed to be me, me. Oh, it's supposed to be me. If not, we make the thing just scatter. If not, we make the thing just, we should go beyond that kind of consciousness. To a more united consciousness where we could think that oh for the sake of your nation let it be like this for the sake of your nation let it go like this if we are not able to do that uh, it will be our biggest flaw because everybody because of that sense of entitlement when they are given opportunity to go into positions of power we want to use that power to get things for themselves and for their cartel you understand? Look at what Tombolo is doing with what he is doing now. He, he, he has enriched people all over the region through this transit security. People have had jobs, people are doing well. You know, there's nothing like now nah, that my contract. Now nah, who are like now nah, 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 nah. But but uh sorry the Kubo is mm -hmm. saying that uh, Tompolo wants everything to himself. Yeah, uh, you know, people like Asari the Kubo, yeah. I would not want to comment on that. Okay. Yes, because of the level of respect that some of us have for them. Okay. But uh, what I would only say is that uh, they will disagree and they will eventually agree. agree. Yeah, because so far so good is the only one complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, before you go, how would you score the performance of your previous boss, Governor Ifan Yokoa, and the Ijo Nation Development? Yeah, uh, I would say. Over 100, I would say I'll give him 70. Okay. Yes, I would say so because uh, I always tell people Okoa was hated by people who did not really put themselves in the shoes. Okay. Okoa fought his way to become the governor of Delta State. The, the people who he had hoped that they would ensure that he becomes the governor at the end of the day did not do that for him. Uh, for once, the Okowa led government um, is the government that has produced the highest number of government appointees since the inception of Delta State. He has given you, he gave young people, people like us, to participate in governance at our own level. Go to his place, Oalero. Say he has put on it because that is his place. So the people he is looking up to to come and that are from our place to tell him what, what to, to do. do. That the people, you see, so I would not want to put that blame on the entire In your citation, I saw that uh, you're the deputy coordinator of the Egbesu Brotherhood Worldwide. What is this Egbesu Brotherhood? 
it's your tradition and culture to die. That is the job of the Egbusu Brotherhood to always to ensure to revive our histories, our cultural okay. heritage. Heritage. Yes. Okay. It's yeah. a kind of a traditional yes. Yes. worship. Uh, yes. Organization. Divinity. Okay. Yes. So and it is also it is not a it, it does not have any affiliation to politics. politics. No, it does. It's not. just a way of, of people, yes, of, the of, culture of, of yes, the people. Yes. Promoting the Ijo culture, culture. Promoting the Ijo tradition. Letting our people know that oh, those things that we used to do as Ijo people, we, it, it is not barbaric. We did not use human beings to do okay. rituals and those things oh, okay. so why can't we tell our people that these are our festivals that we used to do Dude. why have we stopped them yeah. let us start them again but, okay these are the way we used to dress as your people like the way you are putting on this cap yeah. anybody yeah. that sees you automatically know that, knows that, that, that you are the German. yes they are Igbesu brotherhood people we are ambassadors of is your okay. cultural revival okay now before we close i want to say how united are the Ijo people are Ijo united <laughs> Yours are not united. Okay, I'm afraid to say, and, uh, and this unity leads to a lack of development. Yes, and that is part of our reason. That is part of the reasons why we have remained underdeveloped. Okay. Yes, and we are hoping that uh, as time goes on, that is why when organizations like IYC is failing, we will become pained because that is where IYC comes in. That is where INC comes in to ensure that unity of your nation. To ensure that togetherness of vision, ensure that we are one people, that we are brothers and sisters. That if your place is good today, they say clap for who they progress today. Yes. Because it means it that means one day one day reach your turn. Yes. So that let us progress together. Let us say okay. Tomorrow, if I follow you and agitate that okay, today your people you need this and it comes tomorrow when is my turn you will come and support me and that is the Egyptian nation that we used to be. Okay. That is the Egyptian nation that is feared by other ethnic nationalities and that is where we need to return to because if you look now because development the Ijo nation development is being anchored on iyc yes, and inc yes. and if you look at these two bodies they have the same they have a similar problem yeah, yeah. no national secretariat mm. iyc no mm. inc no yes so they have so don't you think the entire Ijo nation Youth body and national uh, elders body need yeah. a rebranding. Yes, of they, actually, they actually need re rebranding. They actually need rebranding. I, but I thank um, the president of the INC, Professor Benjamin Okaba. Okay. I think, uh, to the best of his ability, he's doing his best because I used to, I, I see his moves. He has, okay. he meet, he's meeting with the traditional kings of his nation. He has been doing his best, but there is room. For improvement. For improvement. I want you to look at my camera and yeah. drop a word of advice. We should not continue to repeat the same mistakes because when we repeat mistakes, it means we are not ready to grow. And uh, when we say, oh, leave them, leave them, make it, leave them, leave them, leave them, make it time just pass, it's not good because as they break, man, they old. It is now the job of Israel Youth Council to ensure that uh, people who are qualified, not who will not be a PhD at the top, people who, are, who understand the struggle, who have the passion for the struggle, who have respect for leadership, who have the, the passion of the young people at heart to become the president so that like just like in the days of the founding presidents where the young people, the cry of one the young man was the cry of all the young men was the priority. That is the kind of president that we need. Not the kind of president that uh, not only when he won't endorse politician, now they do press conference. But when is your people are dying somewhere, you can rise up and tell that people that look, we will defend our people if you continue to kill our people. That is the kind of vision nation that I grew up to believe in, and that is the kind of IYC that we should bring back. So I am begging you people to vote for the right persons. Vote for the right persons based on convictions and not uh, uh, any other thing. Thank you very much. Our guest has been no other person but uh, Comrade Elton Bakumo. He has done justice to peace and development to the Ijo nation and the Nigeria at large. Remember, the Ijo nation is a fading bottle of the Nigeria nation. I remain Major Dabim in the time, so Comrade. Bye bye and God bless you.